Congress is on its traditional August recess through September 5th, and that's allowing elected officials to hear from their constituents. One member of the Senate who is taking full advantage of that is Democratic Senator for Missouri Claire McCaskill, who is holding a total of 25 town hall meetings during the break. Today alone, she held four such meetings, with the last one being held late this afternoon at Truman State University in Kirksville. The senator addressed many topics during the town hall, including the president's plan to have private investors repair and operate roadways in the, in the country, which would mean tollways. But private investment may be great for roads that have a lot of traffic, but we have hundreds of structurally deficient bridges in rural communities. And we have miles and miles and miles, hundreds of miles of roads in rural Missouri. There's not enough traffic on those roads, even if you were willing to take the toll for private companies to ever invest in them. So if we just did the president's plan, it would be fine for Kansas City and St. Louis if we wanted to do tolls, but it would leave rural Missouri behind. And I can't go for that. <laughs> Senator McCaskill also told the 250 or so people that were at the town hall meeting that despite what it may appear, Democrats and Republicans are able to work together and are accomplishing some things in Washington. She gave an example of working together. There's a bill on the president's desk to help deregulate the hearing aid business. So four by four, four Democrats, four Republicans, including my friend Chuck Grassley from Iowa, the senior Republican senator from Iowa, we did a bill to blow up that regulation. It's on its way to the president's desk. Once the president signs it into law, then we believe, based on the data that we've looked at, that a year from now, and maybe even sooner, we think that in all likelihood, the price of hearing aids will come down to probably around 350 bucks. So, good news, right?